kill my family and I should say thank you. No thanks, you got your tanks. I got my guard, bring it on. Bring it, it sound pretty, you can sing along. Cause the sound of gunfire is my favorite song. Welcome back to Hannity and Combs. I'm Chuck Norris filling in for Sean Hannity. That was a clip of rapper Tim's music video, Iraq, off his debut album, Open for Business. Joining us now is Iraqi American rapper, Tim's. Glad to have you on, Tim's. So well, what's this happening. all about here? Tell us what the, the uh, album's all about. Well, the album is just basically a day in the life of myself. Uh, I'm an Iraqi American. I was born in San Diego, California. Uh, my family, however, is from Baghdad, Iraq. And I've come here to this country and just to promote, you know, we are here for peace. You know, we have this uh, viewpoint on Iraqi Americans and Middle Easterners as being terrorists and whatnot, and that's not who we are. And I'm here to say that's not who we are. And if you listen to my album, I think you really get that feel that we are just like any other t American Iraq. Well, well Tim, uh, tell me, have you ever been to Iraq? Have you ever been over? I've been to I've been to Iraq uh, for three months. Uh huh. Yeah, luckily, I just luckily. Yeah. Yeah, uh -huh. I just got back from Iraq too, and uh, you know, and the and the Iraqis over there want freedom. Now, would you like to live in Iraq when Saddam Hussein was ruling that country and killing thousands upon thousands of your fellow countrymen? Would you like to have been there at that time? Uh, I was when I was in Iraq. It was during the reign of Saddam Hussein, and I believe that the country, the, in the state that it is in now it's actually more dangerous than when Saddam Hussein was in power. Mm -hmm. At least people could walk down the street without being afraid of their neighbor killing them. I understand that there was a fear of Saddam Hussein and his reign of terror. Yes, I, I don't promote Saddam Hussein and, and, and the things that he has done in the past. However, I do believe that it was safer as, as a region for a regular person like myself to walk down the street and not be afraid of the next person coming up to me and kidnapping me or killing me for, for no apparent reason. Yeah, but so you never know at any time that they could have come into your house, drug you out, and cut off the hand or whatever. So you never knew for sure if that was going to happen or not, did you? Well, I, I'm, I'm Chaldean, and that's a Catholic ethnic group from Iraq. And uh, when Saddam Hussein was ruling, we, we were not persecuted in, in the way that Chaldeans are being persecuted now in Iraq. Mm. Nowadays, we, we are getting kidnapped. You know, it is a civil war between Sunnis and Shiites, and there are Christians stuck in the middle. Mm. And what are we supposed to do? We have, uh, you know, extremists killing each other, and we're Christians. Well, how do they look at us? At least when Saddam Hussein was there, he kept some of these extremists down. And again, I'm not promoting Saddam Hussein. Mm. I'm just saying that it was a, a bit safer for people like me to be uh, alive in Iraq. I totally understand. Yeah, well, the you know, thing is, so he didn't uh, crucify any of the, the uh, religious people, over there, the Catholics over there? He didn't, uh, he didn't have a grudge against you? Uh, the, the Christians, no. He, he actually looked after us a bit. Um, you know, a, a lot of people ask, you know, why, why are you here in America then if things were good in Iraq? But we came to the United States for the same reason that everybody came to the United States to, you know, for religious freedom, for uh, uh, economic freedom, for political freedom, you know, hey, Tim, the same uh, reason that everybody Tom, Thank you for doing our show. Uh, have you been discriminated against since 9-11 for being Iraqi in the United States? In the, uh, immediately after 9-11, it was, it was tough. But I think people come to understand that uh, Middle Easterners are not all these extremists that you see on television. Uh, we are just like everybody else, and we are loving people, and we are traditional people, and we're not here for, sure. uh, for any killing or whatever. The controversy in your, your video was where you have lines like, uh, for over 200 years we stood for what's good, now we're despised by our peers. Um, and what do you but add fuel to the fire and send in more troops? You say, oh, the troops, God saved the troops. It wasn't their war, their lies, their fault. You're very clear that you're supporting the troops, but you lay out the response we've gotten in the world for our incursion into Iraq. Right. Um, I am 100 percent supporting the troops, and I, I've actually been receiving emails and messages all the time from troops themselves telling me how much they love the song, how much they love the video, and uh, they're in full support of me. And, you know, the song is just basically an anti-war song, and 
just on, on what's been going on right. in Iraq and what our standpoint has been, I don't think that we've approached this right at, at you all. You communicate and with a lot of people back home in Iraq and you share with them views about the war and what America's doing. Um, I have uh, a relative that was in Iraq and he managed to get out. He's still in the Middle East, but he had to get out of Iraq. It was just too unsafe. Um, I do communicate with fans that are overseas and they seem to uh, share the same beliefs that I do, that uh, we shouldn't be in this situation, America shouldn't be in this situation, and Iraq shouldn't be in the state. It's interesting because people either, who oppose so. the war call us liberators, not occupiers, and yet polls show, for example, that 7 out of 10 Iraqis want the uh, United States to withdraw. 64 uh, percent say that they believe crime and violent attacks will decrease, in fact, if the United States gets out of Iraq. Um, I, I really couldn't tell you what would happen if we stay or we go. I wish I had the answer. If I had the answer, I don't think I would be a musician, however, I'd probably be working in the White House somewhere, but, I mean, really, who knows? We, we're in this very, very bad situation, and I don't think anybody has an answer to how we can get out of it. I wish we did, but... Okay, let's check in with Greta Van Sisteren, who is standing by with a look at what's coming up at 10 p.m. What?